today on SHS News. Controversial topic of cap and gown colors. Why were our cap and gowns changed to one color? And a new fundraiser for BPA's regional and state competitions. We have it all on here, SHS News. Good morning and welcome to your local news station, Golden Bear Television. It's a beautiful day here in Shelbyville, Indiana. Ethan, how are you doing this fine Saturday? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Katie. I'm looking forward to Christmas break and spending time with family and friends. Speaking of the holidays, the first semester is almost over for high school students. That means only one more semester for the class of 2020. Regarding the class of 2020, Shelbyville High School has decided to substitute the traditional colors of cap and gowns, black and gold, to all black. This is a controversial topic that has been discussed all throughout the school. Golden Bear Television interviewed Shelbyville High School's principal, Mr. Baker, and his perspective on the changes of cap and gown colors. The reason that we are having our gowns change from black and gold to just all black was made last year with our old superintendent, Dr. Adams, and he decided that he wanted to have one uniform color. The main reason for it was that students are actually ordering off-brand gold caps and gowns. Mm -hmm and they were, they were coming and they were yellow, they were fluorescent, and they didn't match the gold that we had. So they decided to switch to all black. I believe the right decision was made about changing the cap and gown colors. Ultimately, this is about graduation and a respectful, classy end mm -hmm. to your high school career. And having classy looking black cap and gowns really ultimately isn't that big of a deal when it comes down to graduation. SHS News also interviewed senior Carson Blair. I think the changing of this tradition is kind of ridiculous because I think that they changed this to suit other people's needs. I think people were upset that they didn't fall under the black or the gold gown category. I think that they felt like they were neither of those, so they think that there should just be one color so everybody's equal. But I also don't think they should change the tradition to where people can't have that choice to pick. We are just now changing this um, because the decision was made over the summer when we had students show up for graduation last spring with different colors or variations of gold or yellow caps and gowns. We don't want students to stand out if they couldn't afford the cap and gown. Black would be much easier easier to match than, than what the gold would be, so um, that's why it was made you know, over the summer. Um, the seniors have reacted um, really well. We have seniors that always ask, can they paint the parking spot? Can they decorate their cap and gown? Why do we have to wear all black caps and gowns? But for the most part, I haven't heard, I haven't heard much. Thank you, Mr. Baker, for giving us your perspective on this issue. As we know, this is a very controversial issue, where everyone has their own opinion about this long-standing tradition. In the end, however, it looks like the tradition is going to change. Speaking of traditions, our SHS chapter of BPA is trying to start a new tradition this year of selling Golden Bear Snowflakes as a fundraiser. So Ethan, please tell me about these ornaments. Well, Katie, our BPA chapter has had a long-standing tradition of selling World's Finest Chocolate and Wix Pie every year as our two main fundraisers. Though every year these two fundraisers have been successful, we wanted to try something new. This year, we acquired a 3D printer and we thought it would be a great idea to design Golden Bear ornaments that we could 3D print here at our school and sell as a fundraiser. It takes about two hours to make one snowflake ornament. The snowflake is made from plastic filament whose color can be interchanged. Along with a snowflake, we plan to add an ornament hook, ribbon, and then place the ornament in a nice gift box. Our plan is to sell these holiday ornaments for $10 a piece and make a $5 profit to go towards our BPA funds, which helps pay for regional, state, and national competitions. That sounds like a really unique project, Ethan. We hope it is a successful endeavor for our BPA chapter. We wanted to thank you for tuning in and watching our new segment today. You can catch us back here tomorrow, same place, same time. And don't forget, stay classy, SHS. <laughs>